Welcome. Today we're actually having a walk around Lodgemore um, Woods now. It's a very haunted woods. This I've got Xavier with me. Uh, but there's a lot more to this woods than meets the eye. It's not just haunted, it's, uh, it's got an interesting history to it. Now the reason we're up in daytime is to get us way round because I've been twice to do uh, videos here about a year ago and got lost on both occasions coming out. So we've come to navigate during the day. And, uh, I have a look there on the areas where we actually need to be uh, and then we're not struggling at night when it's pitch black uh, and uh, we can practically hopefully find his way out. Let's get out of these midges. How are you doing, Zav? Nah, I'm not too bad. What's, what's that? You don't nah. trip over that. Right, okay. Um, oops. Your first... Uh, hang on. Yeah. Okay. It's a midge fest here. <laughs> God, blimey. Your, uh, your first visit here, eh? Very first, yeah. Yeah, what do you reckon to it at the moment? It's nice, it's nice. Uh, yeah. You can see the concrete blocks we've got here. Yeah. Well, these concrete blocks were is where the actual camp used to be. Right. There's quite a lot scattered around uh, the woods, and uh, there's not much left to be honest. Uh, um, of the actual barracks, what used to be here, um, it was built to uh, house the Sheffield City Battalion, uh, and it was called Red Myers Camp, and um, that was before the First World War. There's a lot more to this camp than really meets the eye. So let's have a look at walk rounds, have and uh, find out where uh, we need to be and what areas we can get to without breaking his neck when it's pitch black because it does get really, really dark in here. Yeah, this looks like an entrance here, so uh, we'll walk up here and we come onto another base where, uh, again, the barracks were. So you can imagine in the uh, Second World War um, the prisoners of war used to come here, mainly Germans. It uh, used to house 11,000 Germans or foreign people uh, during the war. There were Italians here as well. And um, you could imagine 11,000 people captured. What, so were it a mixture of like Germans, Italians, Japanese? Yeah, no, they would have been Japanese. No. There would have been Italians, Fred, uh, Germans, Germans and Italians. I would have thought Japanese um, as well. But mainly Germans, no. Japanese would have uh, actually uh, got caught up in the American side of it. Mm. Uh, not rather than here. Um, yeah, 11,000 people were housed in the Second World War. Now, before the... Well, during the First World War, there was an outbreak of smallpox. Now, Lodgemore Hospital is about half a mile down there. It used to be. It's not then anymore. And that used to be uh, an infections uh, hospital. Um, and the smallpox outbreak here actually happened around about 1918. And they brought the patients here. So uh, that it was used for a, an infectious disease hospital for about seven years. Uh, up to about 1925. So we'll have a little walk round and see what we can find. Right, okay. So up these steps here, we're onto a. Uh, so this is a smaller area, so I think it's doubtful that this area was uh, actually part of the the barracks. It might have been an officer's mess or something like that. Um, I'm not sure, but there's a big concrete block down there. So that were obviously used to house something or sit something on. Maybe maybe guns, I don't know. Um, so it could have been where they had a, a, a brain gun or something like that for people what tried to escape uh, and could shoot them down. Because remember, these trees wouldn't be there at that time. It'd be all open. Um, there is that bit there, interestingly enough. This is part of this building. Uh, it's part of the out actually this building outside whatever that was could have been an outside toilet. I don't know But that's still here Yep, it's been held up by the tree there so uh, it's pretty stable that Although 
you don't know whether it's been pushed off or or it's just fell with age, I don't know. Interesting. Right, we'll move on that way. Yeah, so we're on a base at the moment. And if you look down there, there's a base at side of there. They're everywhere actually, uh, when you're walking. I have no idea how many barracks were here. But if this place held 11,000 um, walk animals, oops, so dizzy, man. walk animals, if that's what you want to call them, then uh, and then it's got to hold the English battalion, what what are actually based here, to keep an eye on them. So it's going to be absolutely huge. But we're only going to cover a little bit of it. This uh, uh, this while we're here. A lot of midges. Um, let's have a walk down there. Right. We are coming back at night, by the way, to do the video, and uh, we just want to uh, have a look during the day to see what we can uh, see what we're actually facing because. As I say, I've been here twice before at night and it's been quite pretty airy and I've been on my own and I've had real trouble getting out so uh, I'll get some bearings and Xavier's a little bit more map savvy than I am so hopefully we should be okay So there we go, that's an old drain for a lot of this yeah, here is camouflaged up and it goes up beyond so we want to be heading that way as I've down that path there right so we don't get lost definitely a drain that definitely 100% uh, I think we where I want to be yeah I think so uh, Need to, oh yeah, that's where I need to be. So there is access under there. Obviously, in the past, you'll get under there. So whether that were a bunker or not, I don't know. It looks like it could. Have it been. does look like a bunker, doesn't it? Mm. But I know this area is mega haunted. So where we are now, so let's have a look around here. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're sort of on top of it. So yeah, so they obviously on here, right? There was, there would have been a building right here where I am now, and there would have been an underground to it as well, as you've just seen. Possibly to st it could be to store things. It could be to get under if it, like an air raid shelter something like that difficult to tell there's no uh, written history about it either no what do you reckon to it um, i like it it's, it's an interesting place yeah it's a completely different place at night yeah it sort of when it at night comes at nightfall it goes very quiet it's very quiet during the day and it gets very very eerie you start hearing things almost immediately I was quite nervous here on my own. Yeah, great place to be. Now what's unique about this camp is uh, Carl Donitz, he became, I think, oh, I think under uh, Hitler, he, or he took over the role as leader of Germany, or that, it was really high up anyway. Carl Donitz was a commander. He got caught, uh, he, well his, his U-boat got shot, shot to pieces and uh, he was captured and brought right here in 1918. So that's the first world war, not the second. And uh, he went on to be, as I say, leader of uh, one of the big, uh, big German uh, parliamentaries. I don't know, I think he could have been Prime Minister. I haven't done no research on Karl Donitz. But I know it was very, very high up. 
and he was based unbelievably here. Right, so Zav, we've had a look at the place. Your first time here, my third. And um, there's a couple of spots that take my interest, to be fair. What about you? I, I like all of it. Uh, the bit what we passed, the little um, shelter, what we passed, mm. that was interesting. Mm. Yeah, well, that, that one over there? Yeah. Well, basically what we're on now, yeah. Um, yeah, it is interesting, and this is the most haunted spot in the woods, so we'll definitely do something here. So what we're going to do, guys, we've had a look round, and uh, we're going to come back on Wednesday. Uh, it's Monday now, we're going to come back on Wednesday, and... Uh, just see if we can capture anything really. It, we probably won't, but you never know. It is a haunted wood. Sh uh, German, uh, sh the soldiers have been seen, ghost of soldiers have been seen here, apparently. Um, so, who knows, you know. Uh, we, we might get lucky, eh? Yeah. Might might be another East Drive. Nah, I hate spoilers. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll see you on Wednesday. Yeah, see you in a bit. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna have a pint in the. What, a, what pub are we in? Sportsman. We're gonna have a pint in the sportsman. We're gonna go home, reflect on what we've seen today, and uh, come back at night. Come back Wednesday night, have a look. Yeah, I think the weather forecast is pretty good as well, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll we should be in okay. Mm. I don't think we'll have a. Problem getting in and out. No. Plenty of lights, Google Maps. Yeah. So we should be alright. Okay, guys, we've come back. It's a Wednesday night, and we've come back. Uh, it's not quite dark yet, but it's getting there. So in another ten minutes, it could be absolutely pitch black up here. We're back to the prisoner war camp and uh, it was the largest prisoner war camp in the UK at its time. It was built in the about around about 1918 for the First World War and uh, as I say the uh, the U-boat commander Carl Donitz was brought here. He was captured on the 18th of October 1918 and brought here right here where we are now. Uh, it was only here for about six weeks, but um, it, well, they claimed mental mental illness, and uh, so what they did is they took him to a hospital in Manchester, and then they sent him back to Germany for some reasons. But the poor fellows, what came here, were here till 1947. Yeah, you might think, oh, in 1945 the the war ended, but it did. But uh, the prisoners didn't go back till about 19. 47 because Germany was that badly bombed there was no way to put them so they stayed here in this country some settled in the UK and a lot went back but you can imagine this place in this day um, could have been quite difficult to get his way around you can imagine this place the uh, the hygiene was really bad uh, there was no toothbrushes for anybody so people were having dental problems all the time and uh, they were just sleeping, sleeping in uh, what, what a barracks made for 18 people. And there were 30 odd people sleeping in one barracks. So it, you could imagine the sweat and the grime in these barracks, and they were working all day on farms and that kind of thing with no shower facilities. Uh, it must have been awful for the years that they spent here, and there were quite a lot of deaths on here. Uh, and also, when the smallpox hospital were here, which I mentioned earlier. Um, a lot of people died when they used it for a smallpox hospital. But it's all gone. There's remnants of it now. And uh, we're just about to come across part of it. Basically, the, the footings are here. And uh, not much else is deserve here, really. No, just leaves. Um, a few other bits around. Yeah, there's not much left. The for what we can see now is called Red Myers Plantation, uh, all the trees and that, but uh, they weren't here when the uh, the camp was here. Uh, it was just countryside, uh, and the photograph you saw earlier, what Xavier put on, 
You could see the tower at Lodgemore Hospital. Well, the tower is still there, but that's the only thing at Lodgemore Hospital that is there and remains. And it's actually been turned into a beautiful little house. So, we'll continue on. Uh, we, I think we need to take that path, uh, Xavier. Shall we go down that yeah, way? Yeah, we'll go that way, yeah. Okay, let's go, let's go down that way. So we'll walk down here. The part we need to get to is a bit little bit of a walk down here. So what are you reckon to this place then Zav? Yeah, it's very good. A lot of history. There's a lot there's a hell of a lot of history here because this camp actually holds Polish, Italian and German prisoners of the war. Uh, and apart from the famous one, the Carl Donitz one, um, there was 11,000 people held at this camp. It was, a, as I say, the biggest camp in Europe. Well, in, in the UK, definitely. Don't know about Europe, but uh, definitely the largest one in the UK. Just watch them stones there. It's a little bit uneven. I think, uh, thankfully, we have got a bit of light because we can see where we're going because it does get really dark. Okay guys, this is where we're going to be. We've found a spot where I know is uh, very much haunted and uh, at the end of the day, um, it's probably the best place in the area. But um, as I said, this camp is absolutely huge and we're going to do just a small area of it. So let's have a look. we've set some stuff up, set these cat balls off if you just want to watch things up. If you can see down there, look, we've got the. I've got uh, got a music box over there, which I can't see on camera, and I've got a REM pod. That's it over there where Xavier's got the light. So that's great. So Zav, we're going to call out, and uh, we're going we're going to do a bit of old-fashioned or something by just calling out and see what we can hear. There is a road about a fair distance away, but it is a very quiet road. It doesn't really go anywhere. So it can hardly be used. Okay. My name's Paul. My name's Xavier. We're here because we know that Ex-prisoner war service soldiers are still in this vicinity of the old prisoner of war camp. Would you like to come and show your face please and let us know you're here? Can you make some sign? Remain quiet, Xavier. Just re remain stood where you stood. Don't want to miss anything. That's it. That's great. So it's just about going dark now. It's not going to get much darker. There's a nice harvest moon shining through the trees. Somewhere down there. It's 
So we're in the right atmosphere now for you to come up and say hello to us. Come and show us where you are. I'm trying to find spirits what probably passed during the 1918 pandemic of smallpox. Was you one of those in the hospital, please? Would you like to let me know? Could you throw something? I keep going back to this um, brickwork here, guys, because it is significant. Because I know other gold sunsets have seen spirits around this spot so we're in the right place and this is where we need to be you feeling out sir no not really what about you you feeling out no no I hear voices but they're a fair distance away. I just can't see anybody coming in here tonight. People do come in and walk the dogs during the day. But you wouldn't want to be here at night. Okay, I've been here twice before, guys. If you can see me. Or you're around me. And got lost on both occasions. Quite easy to get lost in here, very easy. I'm living proof of that. I wonder if you still get lost yourselves. All these trees weren't here when you were here. They've took up all the space. Can you find your way around? So, I've set some cat balls on the floor. What they do, if you can move them, they will light up. We're in one of the oldest prisoner of war camps in the in the country. It's not one of, it is the biggest one in the UK, right? And you must be proud that you served here. Obviously not your choice to do that, but it was pretty rough in your day. There was no Two foot, toothpaste, toothbrushes for you. You had to go without brushing your teeth, out showering for days and days on end. It must have been really hard. I bet you disruncled that, don't you? I can imagine guys that um, up here we're 1100 feet above sea level here and it gets snow and all sorts up here when you don't get it down in the city and it must have been really hard when the snow drifts would come up here freezing temperatures there were no heating in them billocks there were no heating whatsoever it must have been freezing and the soldiers always complained that it was cold damp and dark in winter and bleak. So 
So we are at 1100 feet above sea level here. I can imagine the winters were pretty dire in your day. That's when you had real winters, eh? In the 1940s. Would you like to approach us? We're very friendly. And we don't really want to go without saying hello. We'd like to be the first who really documents a spirit in here. I know people say they've seen them and but there's no actual documents, there's no proof that there is any here. And I'm not saying it's haunted, but it's notable to be haunted. So if we get GIF that a place is notable to be haunted, we'll go and see what we can find, if anything. Probably nothing, eh? I've not seen any cat balls or anything go off. That, that music box is odd, isn't it? Yeah, not and it's yet. facing the other way from us, so... Not yeah, nothing's gone off. Yeah. Shall we put the um, spirit talk on? Yeah, can do. And, uh, okay, guys, we're going to put the spirit talker on. Right, wait there, I'll do that while we don't need to stop. We can keep the camera rolling just in case, because I really don't want to miss anything. So give me a minute, guys. You want to keep talking, sir? Yeah, yeah, I'm just having a little walk around, um, just so people can see where, where we are. It's quite a neat, nice place actually. It's a nice quiet one. Thumbscrew. Okay, we got thumb screw. I can hear a little. I can hear a little bit of movement around. Is that movement a spirit? Could be wildlife. I'm gonna get foxes in here, aren't you? Mm. Or or rats. Oh yeah, you get rats everywhere, but yeah. So the spook talk is very quiet. We've got thumb screw. Is the volume on? Yeah. So what's thumb screw mean? It's us. Is that what it said? It's us. It says yes. It's you, okay. Who are you? Do you want to come towards us? Just say hello. <clears throat> so your light's having a good effect. Mine isn't really. I understand that. Yeah. I move my light away, it's still, it's still the same. Yeah. Have you whacked it, uh, brightness up on it? Yeah, you know, I don't need it too bright, otherwise the battery will go. I don't need it really bright, to be fair. Just need a camera. As clear as I can. You've sold, sold your uh, light downs, have you, a little bit? A little bit, they could be up. That's it. Ah, that's it. Thanks. Thanks, I think it said. Mm. 
Thanks for what? What are we doing for you? Are we being polite? Do you want to come towards us and be polite with us? There are ways we can see you here. Can't hear any owls. I can hear some out. Come from here. Oh, do you know what it is? It's them leaves on that tree there. There's a very, very gentle breeze. I don't know why, it's some sort of... Some sort of bird, I don't know, it could be just my, my ears, but... Yeah. I definitely can hear dogs and stuff. Right. Okay, so we're not getting much out of the spirit talk. It's very quiet. Malicious. So malicious. So who's malicious? Are you talking about the commanders? What used to run this place? Because I know they used to hit you with Find canes. My body. They used to hit you with canes, didn't they? They were quite brutal, weren't they? Yeah. The story is the guys what run this place, um, the Sheffield City Battalion, was, could be quite broke over them. We the uh, the prisoner of wars, uh, or the prisoners of war. Um, I would imagine it's not a very nice place to be, and they also got to bullied quite a lot. Paranormal. They also got bullied quite a lot by German soldiers. That's the, the Italians and the Polish. So you could imagine. The atmosphere wasn't great. We got paranormal and find my body. Now where is your body? Can you give us an indication? Are you still here? That wouldn't surprise me to be fair. There was an excavation done um, during the 80s in here under the trees but there wasn't any actually done under the camp remains. So we don't know what's under them. Your face. My face. You can see me, can you? I'd like to see you. Would you like to come and make yourself known? It's us. Who are you? Is it the prisoners? Soldiers? Are you the prisoners of war? Are you from Germany? Hate. That corresponds with this place. Yep. Sure. Yep, that, there's a few words what correspond with this place and that's hate's one of them. There's a lot of hate in this camp, wasn't there? My neck. My neck. Prisoners did hang themselves, by the Revenge. way. Revenge. Uh, in this camp. Would you like to get your revenge? Hopefully not on us, eh? But you're welcome to come and visit us here. Right, okay guys. What I'm going to do now, um, I might get the, uh, I might get the stick out, the, K2. No, we haven't got the K2. E EVP? We can do an EVP, but we'll finish it. We'll just get the other app out and see what we can find on uh, on that. 
Right, okay, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Ghost Seeker. Couldn't actually think of the name of it. And uh, basically what this does, you've just seen Xavier on it there, and it works with uh, artificial intelligence. Now, if it picks something up, let's have a little walk down here, Xavier. Just have to watch where we're walking. In fact, there's no path there, is there? No, not really. Let's walk the other it's way. Down there, there is. Where's the path? Is it? Yeah. Is it there? Right, we'll walk down there then. Right. Gotta be a little bit careful here, right? Okay. Don't want to walk too far out of his way because we don't want to lose the equipment. It's tricky getting away around here. Okay. That, what's that? Green getting. Okay. Could be picking a tree up there. I don't know. Ah, right. Okay, guys, we're. Uh, We'll just have a little walk here. It, the path ends here, actually, Zav. Right. So we're not going to get through this bit. But... No. Let's have a little flick round, see if we can pull anything in. As you can see, guys, it's not even picking the trees up. There's something there, hang on. Why not? Can I call on you, please? To make yourself known. Picking you up there, Zav. Right. Can you hear shotguns? Is it shotguns? Yeah. It's rather shotguns or fireworks. fireworks yeah, it is a bit early for fireworks. Okay. No, it's definitely shot on that. No, I mean we're in right place for a... Probably doing some target pra practice or something. Mm. That's a familiar sound to you, isn't it? Target practice. You've probably done a lot of that in your... T Ooh, hang on, what we got here? Hi, hi. That just the tree it's picking up. Not sure. Oops. Yeah, we're not going there too much because that's actually a funny shape, isn't it? It's upside down there. What are you doing up hanging upside down? She's picking something up there. See, you've got to remember that these trees weren't here. So he could be hanging from his feet from a rafter or something like that. Right, okay. All right, guys, we're going to do an EVP and um, we'll see what we can uh, really pick up on, on that. That's his only hope. So uh, we'll get that ready. Okay, guys. Hello, my name's Paul. We're at the concentration camp, the prisoner of war camp. I'm looking for anyone what was here during the Second World War. I've got Xavier with me and we're out to see if any friendly spirit in this wood can come and say hi to us, come and touch my equipment and set it off so we know you're here.
The accommodation here during the war was pretty dire. Can you remember how it was? Okay guys, what we'll do, if I can get some light, we can play that. We'll turn the volume up as we uh, put it onto the video, so here we go. Hello, my name's Paul. We're at the concentration camp, the prisoners of war camp. I'm looking for anyone what was here during the Second World War. I've got Xavier with me. And we're out to see if any friendly spirit in this wood can come and say hi to us. Come and touch my equipment and set it off so we know you're here. The accommodation here during the war was pretty dire. Can you remember how it was? Okay, guys, what we'll do... Okay, guys. Um, I'll turn it off. Hello, my name's Paul. We're at the concentration camp, the prisoner of war camp. I'm looking for anyone what was here during the Second World War. I've got Xavier with me and we're out to see if any friendly spirit in this wood can come and say hi to us. Come and touch my equipment and set it off so we know you're here. The accommodation here during the war was pretty dire. Can you remember how it was? As usual, it's right difficult to hear out on that because um, it's always quiet. We have to get it back and enhance it. And then if that is when we might hear something on it when we enhance the we'll, volume. We'll stick the actual recording on this on here. Yeah, we will. We'll do that. And we always do that anyway. So no problem with that. Okay, well I didn't hear anything. That would mean say there's nothing on it. But um, I know there's a lot of singing going off in these camps at the time. So people did try and be jolly. The best and make the best of it they got. You were allowed to work on the farms and mix with the locals. I bet that was great. Well, we're locals, really. Would you like to come and mix with us? Okay, so, so guys, you know, we don't know if it's haunted or not. We've, we, it is known to be haunted in here, but um, we're not getting anything really. But that's what we expected, Zab, weren't it? Yeah. Really? Nothing. Um, whether the EVP shows anything, I don't, I probably doubt it, but um, even this, uh, the, the apps didn't show anything, they bring anything up. A little bit of um, stuff come off the, uh, the, the ghost talker but um, the spirit talker but you know 
you can't go on that really, can you? So, um, I don't know. So I'm going to leave it at. I'm uh, nice to be back in September, and uh, we're um, we've had a good think, me and Xavier, about this, and we're going to uh, sort of cut the. Uh, No. I'm going to cut the material down a bit, but um, I'll still try and get out and keep the channel pretty active. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. We're back in October with uh, 30 years drive, and uh, we've got some really good stuff coming up in the next uh, few months as well. So try and join us every every final Friday of the month, and uh, we'll get a video. There won't be people at pub, will it? No pubs. No, it's too far from you. No, we're hearing noises, but I don't think it's anything spiritual. No. Or paranormal. No, you've had your chance in here tonight, and you've blown it. Okay, guys, thanks for joining us. See you in October. Have a good one.